This is the other set of winner semis, so the winner will go on to fight Tilde. And we just saw Gatsby um, looking pretty hot against numbers in their winner's quarter set, so... And we saw Vivi looking pretty good against Mailman. I mean, got away with some really close situations here, but Vivi definitely is a type of player that can just really, uh, really pour some water on Gatsby's hot fire, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ga yeah. Gatsby, like like we've seen, he plays hot and he plays cold a little bit. But yeah, it's like when you need somebody to put out the fire, Vivi's the type of player. Yeah, yeah. Vivi, Vivi's just type of super solid player here to just sort of consistent. Yeah, just super consistent, right? I mean, we have Accelerado on deck here. Both players just moving and pay attention to Vivi's use of down tilt in the set. Right? It's one. Of, it's a surprisingly underrated like anti approach option, and Vivi uses it to great effect against characters like Captain Falcon. Yeah, you have to boost here yeah. to the up air though. Yeah, it's like you have to protect you have to protect your zone somehow against a character like Falcon cuz he just does stuff like that and then it's just like wow. Yeah, <laughs> and it's the dash back knee, the turnaround jump off the platform was so good from Gatsby. Yeah. Um got to give him credit Ooh. where it's due. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. like yeah, Gatsby right now is Okay, got hit by Apple. Yeah, get back his Apple. But, um, yeah, I mean, Gatsby has been ripping a lot of um, a lot of B moves today, right? <laughs> We've seen a lot of Raptor boosts, a lot of Falcon dives at a shield. Yeah, I mean, very good moves that break zones. Falcon dive especially. Yeah, for sure. One um, of the best command grabs in the game, as far as I'm oh, concerned. Oh, it's really good. It's Ooh. also one of the only moves that keeps Falcon, like, pretty good, low-key. VV barely living there. The hell just... Was that another Falcon up B trade? It could be. Falcon, yeah. I hate that Falcon up B can trade like that. It sucks for Falcon, but it also just creates a lot of weird situations that you don't expect. Up air to knee, maybe? Ooh. Great the eye from VV, uh, though. Was that, was that an IDJ? It looked like one. Yeah, it was an IDJ. That was a good IDJ, damn. And a really good stomp on the swoosh back to ledge from VV and Gatsby. It's just sort of playing his game. It feels like he's not deterred by any of the stuff that VV's been trying to do, right? Where even though he's lost some stocks, it hasn't yeah. felt it hasn't really felt difficult. Yeah, no, yeah, and this and this is the type of stuff we were talking about, right? Like Gatsby playing hot and cold, and right now Gatsby's playing hot, and you kind of have to stop. You have to kind of deal with this right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I mean, BB's definitely still in this, right? But with these conversions from Gatsby, it's so scary. No dare to frame there, but the jab catches VB's jump from ledge. Picks up the zoom, though. Smash. High skill. It's like an up smash is coming. Uh, I don't even think he needs it, to be honest. He might throw it out anyways, but I think... Oh, jab one to catch the jump. Gatsby feels like he's opened his third eye today. <laughs> he's seeing the game a little differently. Yeah, ooh, that nair. Catching the jump. Going off deep, and I, res you know, I do respect that. Well, it, it's also, he's at such high percent that he can sort of, like, if he does that and he dies, it's not a big deal anyways. But I can kick out of the corner, and mm. the psych up up throw going to pick up a stock. Vivi, lower on MP than they'd like to be, though, for this last one, so... We'll yeah. see what the situation is. Notably, Falcon doesn't really have any uh, confirms at these percents. With the exception of maybe Nair one up air, so... Yeah. Vivi definitely feeling at least a little more comfortable with the... <laughs> yeah, but the up B out of shield command grab, insane. It's so good, because it covers, like, so much space. Oh, no. Vivi has slowly worked her way back in, though, the snooze. We do have Kafriz on deck, which will kill in the corner here, by the way. Oh, oh, that would have talking about something that would have killed. That definitely would have killed. <laughs> Not gonna die this dash attack though. VB's DI is so good. Accelerado, Accelerado yes. Though, to be a little slippery. Oh. Oh. You went for it. You went for it. You went for it. And I respect that. that. And oh, talking about God. going for it. Yeah, it's so, It is oddly hard to punish those Falcon uppies. He went for it three times in a row. <laughs> did, not get, did not get punished for any one of them. It's just so good. I mean, and the other thing you have to keep in mind is like, you, because if you Falcon up be around a platform, you can land anywhere on the platform or below the platform mm -hmm. or to the sides of the platform. So like, the mix is so real. Yeah, so much air is so so much air drift, right? And um, the, one of the big Falcon buffs that he gotten is uh, even after you hit the the Falcon dive, you act almost immediately out of it. Yeah, now. exactly. So it's like even on hit, it's like. Yeah. BB did a great job, though, of bringing it back, so I wouldn't be surprised to see this a little closer. We're back to PS2. And I think if you're BB, like, it could be worth maybe just investing into some hard reads off of where Gatsy wants to be off of the Falcon Dives. Just to show that you're willing to sort of, uh, you willing to go for it, right? Yeah, and yeah, and right now, Gat Gatsby is really on top of these defensive options. 
from Vivi. Oh, yeah, and every sure. single punch he's getting is just really tough. Gatsby feels like he's leaning into the idea of like the best defense is just good offense. Mm -hmm. Where like it feels like Vivi is trying to play super defensive. We're not super defensive, but like sort of like reacting to what Gatsby's doing. But Gatsby is responding to the defensive options with offensive options in like a defensive position. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, just just holding the space, mid, camp, almost camping mid range, right? Yeah, no, for sure. And then uh, and on top, look, he's just. Kira's out of shield <laughs> with the exception of Umbi isn't that great? Yeah, so it's not. So it's like, why not? You can just sort of do this. And it's not like if you get Umbi out of shield and against Hero, unless you're like in certain situations, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. The yeah. Sizz here though, even talking about Gatsby, Vivi has just worked their way back into this game and the Kaboom gonna catch the landing. Yeah. Vivi's Kabooms have been so good all day. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And that's Yeah, and that's it's something you have to be good with, right? One of the best projectiles um that I forget what I was saying. It doesn't matter. Well, you were... I don't know. It doesn't matter. Gatsby yeah, caught Zoom. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably feeling like the best player in the world right now. Oh, yeah. Calling out the Accelerol. You know, ever since, every time Vivi has Accelerol, it feels like Gatsby's been calling out all, a lot of these jump options. Well, Vivi... What, what feels like is happening to me a lot is like Vivi gets Accelerol and feels like moving forward every time. Where mm. Every time Vivi gets Accelerol, Gatsby knows I have to do an anti-air, right? And Falcon has some really good anti-airs and the Nair one there, the bad DI and the Nair one. But also you can react to Nair one knee. It's so stupid. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think it mattered the DI. I feel like that was just death. I that could like... have been true. Mm -hmm. But either way, the Nair one there did happen. And Gatsby is looking to just cruise his way into grand finals here. This is BB's winner's life on the line. Gatsby has just been holding forward for the... Stomp, no need Yo, this time. He's just holding forward. For sure. And I mean, Hero, it's really hard for Hero to like just effectively deal with Falcon in these situations because he doesn't really have the frame data. Yeah, no. And, and especially if like you, if you don't, if you're not getting a good rhythm on the defensive options that Falcon's doing, um, it's gonna be a long night for you. And I feel like, like you said, it's been all offense. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is definitely still in Revi's reach, right? Um, let's like let's not count them out, but yeah, of course. It looks like Gatsby just. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> That might have. That might have been. That might have been. I feel like it's just like, why can't you punish it? Well, certain, certain, well, certain characters, right? Like, no, I know. Like, not fast enough. But, mm. Great sizzle though, and with some buffs on deck, this is so doable. But the run up of the looking like fatality with that one. He just <laughs> BB shaking their head, but Falcons on the win screen. So. Oh man, that was. Yeah, that, that was a set of Smash Bros. That was that was a set of Smash Bros. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing I, I will say that like Gatsby had a very good full hold. I think after that that stock, I feel like after they got won that game, they clutched out game one. I feel like Gatsby probably had pretty good foothold on Vivi's defensive habits. Right. You saw you saw Gatsby overshooting a lot, a lot against Vivi. Yeah. Run up jabs, run up up bees, and Vivi's just holding shield, and Gatsby's just like, all right. Whatever, Falcon, just Falcon kicking, and just he's just Fal like, but just Falcon things, yeah. right? And like in a ma in a in character matchups where like, uh, in character matchups where the opponent wants to be playing super defensive, Falcon, if you start overshooting and your opponent doesn't have the right counterplay to it ready, then suddenly, um, you're just cooking, like you're in yep. business. Uh, yep. bracket updates for you: Peko beat Mailman. We're not sure what the score was because it's not listed, but okay, no, yeah, so.